Looks like the glazing is happening. That's the wave. A boy now Trinibers down, but it might oh, wow. have enough to take the whole base and the red robots. The second you think they might have finally made a mistake, that's a back door. Ken with the overextend getting picked off. That might be the ticket. Meanwhile, Woo! Eman just says, hey, hold my cup. Man, <laughs> I got you, Ken. <laughs> and I love the fact that Eman is basically like a, he's a writer, right? He's a good writer. He's like George R.R. R. Martin, man. He's just foreshadowing his movements. <laughs> Remember the moment he died was, he was targeting the base. Yeah. So he actually died for targeting the base. It was not a miscalculation. Nope. It was a foreshadowing for what's about to happen. <laughs> he's GG. Yeah. Seriously, this guy is, is so, so intelligent. Yeah, we, we've, is. I've said this so many times on stream, backstage, everywhere, even in the document for <laughs> the, the team study that we had yeah. before MPL, I, again, stated that this guy is the most intelligent gold lane in the world. I, I believe so. Maybe if people, the doubters, don't believe so, maybe now after that crazy angle to end the game, snatching the MVP from Super Ken. This is the highest mechanical play you could ever do in this situation. You tap that turret button next to it, like the attack turret button. That's it. It's as simple as that. He held on to the Wind of Nature pretty late as well. Yeah. So he was ready for the, you know, damage coming in, especially Marky's. It could be very coincidental, yeah. but I could also just keep on praising and glazing how intelligent he is because it's almost like he knew that play was going to happen. Yeah. What do we usually see? First item for a carry. It's a Thunderbelt in this meta. The man went full damage from the start. If he had a Thunderbelt, if he didn't have this much nice. attack speed, I don't think that end would have been possible. So, I mean, come on now. So, so now this this man is like, oh, I get it. The, the glaze is you kind of ultimate glazing at this point. The man, <laughs> this man built his his build differently. So now from the start, that was just fully calculated the whole time. Like, come on now. It was an opening. He did a good move and took advantage of that opening. Like, come on. Like, he, he went this because it fit with his team comp and what they was doing in his team strategy. Like, that that's why he made this decision. Like, it wasn't like he predicted that this end was going to come. He was prepared for it. He was waiting for this particular moment. Like, nah, nah, the glaze is too real, bro. Like, he made a good play. Like, that's, that's the way it is. He made a good play. That's where it begins and ends. So again, I don't know, maybe I'm glazing here, <laughs> you know? But yeah. also, my God, that decision turned out to be amazing for mm -hmm. a man. Mm -hmm. yeah. He did die once with this build. You would expect him to die more. So already it was phenomenal for the side of Bigatron Alpha. That decision making, the atomization. Okay, and hey, double, bro. Nice, man. So it wasn't a call. That proves it, right? They were just like, wait, wait, look at it. Look at what he's doing. Yeah. Let him cook. And he cooked. It was his instincts. <laughs> Talking to him. He said, it's like, let him cook. And he cooked. Hey, I'm asleep. This man, yeah, this man. Hey, he loves this guy. Hey, but I respect Look at, look at it. what he's doing. Yeah. Let him cook. And he cooked. It was his instincts. Yeah. Talking to him. His Experience. Like, a little voice in his head. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean that was a good play. That 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 was a super good play. But <laughs> my man, but, but but spinning that like he predicted the end and he built for it and all this type of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff just worked out in his favor. And and I think that that's what happens when you play games in general. That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to build and and go in with a strategy and certain things. But when you see opportunities and certain things happening, you're supposed to adjust your strategy on the fly and take the opportunities that present themselves. He just did that. He he, he did that and it, it worked out. He did that very effectively. So yeah, shout out to him for that. But yeah, man, the glaze was definitely real. The glaze was there, but yeah, there we have it, y'all. Um, Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.